Hello, I made a simple French cleat hedge trimmer holder that holds my cordless Ryobi hedge trimmer and hedge trimmer accessories. Keeps your hedge trimmer right where you need it so you can deal with hedge emergencies. This video is part of our French cleat series where I periodically put out videos about French cleat tool holders and how I build them here in the shop. And one thing is true about all of my French cleat holders is that I'm basically lazy and I don't like to manhandle my tools when I take them off the French cleats. I want to be able to grab them and go. So our French cleats, you just grab the tool and you're immediately able to use it. All of these are like that. When I built the hedge trimmer mount, I did the same thing. You just grab it, pull it off the mount, and you're already holding it, ready to use it. Instead of hanging it upside down or, or something else, I built a holder that's more usable. And I added in holders for the accessories. accessories to go with the hedge trimmer in case I want them because I like to store the tool and all of its parts in one place. With the exception of the batteries, I've got a French key holder for my battery charger here with the jacuzzi timer on. It's really cool. Check out that video. You can save a lot of space by putting it up like this on the wall and it gets it out of the way and you can use it immediately when you need it step is to take the backer board of your choice. I use 3 8 inch plywood, but you could use anything you want. Make it 8 inches wide by 36 inches tall. Backer board is complete and it's time to put the French cleat on it so that it can hang out with its French cleat friends on our French cleat wall. Of course, I clamped it on account of all these clamps, but you kind of knew I was going to do that, didn't you? The support for the hedge trimmer is cut from standard 3 quarter inch lumber. The first two pieces are going to be 5 by 7.5 inches. And then you're going to cut two 11 inch long pieces that are three quarters of an inch wide. I used oak for the longer pieces so that they're less likely to snap off in use. Assembling the tool holder is pretty high tech. You just slather glue all over the place and stack it up. That's pretty much it. And of course it's heavily clamped because we like our clamps. The next day. Time to make the donuts. The mounting bracket's all done. It looks like a claw, so I'm gonna call it. Claw. We try to keep the term simple here. Attaching the claw to the bottom is pretty simple. I'm using screws here, but you can glue it. Whatever attaches it, just remember, this is gonna hold the whole weight of the hedge trimmer, so you wanna make it secure, so that there aren't any late night crashes that scare the animals. <laughs> this is a very tall tool holder, and it's being held by one French cleat way up there at the top. And what I've discovered is, is I'm putting the hedge trimmer in and out, it tends to pull away from the wall. So we're going to put a second French cleat down low so it will hold it down and not flop around when you're trying to take out this bladed tool. Safer for everyone. Mostly me. This hedge trimmer comes with two attachments. One is the blade cover, which I would use if I ever haul this somewhere and don't want to slice things up in the car when it's being transported. And the other is this fence here that you put on when you are cutting. It sweeps the debris out of the way. Both of these just slide right off, and normally with an attachment like this, you'd stick it in a footlocker or a drawer and promptly forget about it until you need it and you're out in the yard, and well, it's you're out of luck. So what I'm going to do is modify both of these attachments so that they can hang right with the tool and be right where I need them, right where I can store them and see them, and out of my footlockers because I have other stuff to put in those. And finally, we add some happiness to the project. There it is, the hedge trimmer hanging on its French cleat holder, right here on the wall where it belongs with the other power tools. If you want to see more French cleat stuff or the stuff that we build with our stuff that hangs on French cleats, subscribe. We're fun. You'll like it. You should go build one of these because they're really nice. But that's all I have for today. More French cleat stuff in the future. I'll see you later. <laughs>